go back to our segment with Dr. Pal. Now, constantly we hear about how gut bacteria gets completely destroyed. The good gut bacteria that is so solid and so important for how we digest our food and how it's absorbed also in our body. But it goes completely for a toss the minute you take antibiotics. So I sat down with Dr. Pal to understand if that has happened, if you've had to take antibiotics, how do you then repopulate your gut flora, how to incorporate all those good bacteria back into your system. This is how it went. We are going to talk about something very exciting. We all know that antibiotics, they do wonders to our body. They are a great invention in medicine but they completely destroy your gut bacteria. So getting out of antibiotics, what should you really be doing? I have with me the gut doctor to tell me what exactly. First, just explain to us what happens in your gut when you take an antibiotic. Doctors love it. And, and, and let's just say it, if you do it judicially, it does do wonders Correct. to your, it does do wonder to your body. So how should one look at it? Um, so our, when we say gut, it is not your stomach. That's number one. It's, it's your intestine. Hmm. So from the esophagus, foot pipe, all the way up to the anal orifice, hmm. we have all these bacteria lined up like a hundred trillion firewall cracker. Hmm. Hundred trillion. Hmm. It's one followed by 14 zeros. Hmm. If you line up all this bacteria, it will reach from the earth all the way up to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it is, correct? Mm. And it has been evolved over 3.5 billion years since the first single cell organism came on. Right. So, if we are just a newbie over here, mm. okay, so these bacteria have been in our body for a long time, as soon as we came in. So, what happens is, when we take an antibiotic, mm. these 100, 100 trillion firewall cracker is like very arranged, very closely, exactly similar to the cracker. Basically, when you're taking an antibiotic, you're having a Diwali by fire lighting <laughs> mm. cracker where 50% of this is gone. Wiped out. Wiped mm. out mm. completely. And you don't know it right away because it doesn't manifest you any physical ailments right away. Mm. But? In four years time, five years time, that is where your long term problem starts in. Hmm. So, why is this important? Uh, as we discussed, our gut bacteria, getting good gut bacteria is absolutely critical because it manages your hormones, manages your metabolism and multiple research is showing that it might even control your mood as well. Hmm. The way you feel, you are happy, you are depressed, hmm. it's based on what kind of chemicals these gut bacteria are producing. Hmm. So, there's a lot of research coming up and so, uh, to once you get the antibiotics, since 50% hmm. is getting blasted, that is why it is absolutely very critical to use antibiotics only if it is needed. Hmm. The biggest problem here in India is that uh, pharmacy is not controlled. Hmm. Correct? You can go to a pharmacy store and ask a hmm. chemist, Baya, I have so throat, give me antibiotics. Hmm. Correct? Give me medication hmm. and they will give you antibiotic hmm. for three days, which hmm. we don't know, don't have a regulation. In hmm. US, there are lots of bad things in US, hmm. but one good thing is that you cannot get an antibiotic without a doctor's prescription. Yeah, yeah. So, number one, hmm. for our viewers, we can say that make sure you take antibiotics only prescribed by the doctor. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And number it can't be your go-to medicine. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. It cannot be your go-to medicine at all. Mm -hmm. I always say that most of the fevers that we have mm. is mostly viral fevers. Yes. For viral fevers, antibiotics does not work. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, people are taking antibiotics even if there is an IPL fever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, you go to a doctor, he mm. says that don't take antibiotics, it will get better in 3 days. Mm. You go to a chemist, they give antibiotics, it will also get better mm. in 72 hours. Mm. Both are same. Mm. <laughs> so, that mindset has to change that only people, only medicines will be curing your body, not necessarily. Right, right. So, that's about But can you, people who don't feel the impact just yet, what exactly does destroying of this 50% of gut bacteria will do to you? So, right off the bat, I can tell you that if 50% of gut bacteria is gone, which means your good gut bacteria is also depleted, hmm. which means that it will not be producing the chemicals that need it for your body, which means that you will crave for things that you have never craved for before. Hmm. 
which means extra high dose of calories which will lead to obesity and all this I'm talking about is in due course of time. Hmm. Second, it will also play a role in your immune system. Hmm. Immune cells are lined up along the intestine. Hmm. People are thinking immune, immunity is like throughout the body. It is mainly in the intestines. Hmm. And if you're damaging this, your immune system is bothered as well. Hmm. Especially after COVID, people are very conscious about health. Hmm. If you, so you must have seen, in few, in, during COVID, some patients were very sick. Hmm. Some patients had a very mild COVID and they got away with it. Yeah. It I had to do with the inherent 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 sort of thing and mm -hmm. also how good your immune system is yes and yeah. that is influenced by your gut bacteria gut bacteria mm. okay so we now know that it's really bad and it will have small term to long term impact right mm. so what does one do say one has to have once mm. you've got a bacterial ah. infection mm. you are on antibiotics mm. and that's the only way to go forward mm -hmm. with the antibiotics should you they always give you a b complex or so to ensure that there is some sort of a uh, build up of good up. gut bacteria or can we do something with food as well? Correct. So I always go naturally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the B complex is vitamin supplements, right? Yeah, so yeah. sometimes they do probiotics hmm. where they give you all this good bacteria. Hmm. Uh, and as we discussed, we don't know whether that good gut bacteria is what your body needs. Ah, right? Okay. So we don't hmm. know that. Hmm. It might help, it might not help. Hmm. Uh, but more than that, what you can do is, hmm. let's say you need an antibiotic for an infection. Um, uh, your doctors have prescribed it. You have taken it for like five days, seven days. The most important thing is what you are eating right after that course. It's extremely critical. After the course, not after. during it. Even during also. But during, okay. you know, you are sick that you might not eat that much. Okay. Okay. Mm. During the course, let's say you get better, you get okay mm. as well. But mm. around that period, mm. peri-antibiotic intake period. Mm. Around that period, one good thing about a gut bacteria is they are like our kids. Mm. We can change them at least mm. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we try. We try. At least we can try. <laughs> they are malleable. So you put the right seed, it will grow a plant for you. Okay. Okay. So during the peri-antibiotic period, you need to make sure that you eat large amount of fiber with complex carbs, with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, cereals, as much as possible. Mm. And avoid all this over-processed foods so that you plant that seed to repopulate that extra bacteria. And it's going to take some time. Just give you an idea, one dose of antibiotic for about 5 days destroys gut bacteria for how long? 25 to 50 percent. No, for how, for what duration do you uh, see? No, once it is gone, it is gone, correct? Then it has to, you have to repopulate. Oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, in due course of time, based on your food, it slowly mm. repopulates. Does yogurt help? Absolutely. Mm. So, I always talk about three F's, mm. okay? First F is fiber. Mm. Second F is fermented foods. Mm. And if you do these two F's, the third F, fun, will come in your life. Mm. And you will not have the fourth F, which is farting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note, let's go back to the studio.